Okay. Jay Shrimati Ji, uh, Prem Kumar Ji, very nice uh, of you to meet us and have Shrimati Ji's Cabela Castle in the backdrop um, and live from there. Thank you so much. Uh, we begin with asking about how how did your journey begin? Where did you hear about Shrimati first and how did you get your realization, please? Um, I got my self-realization in 1988. I saw Shimataji poster in front of my uh, university, Warsaw Technical University Faculty of Architecture. And the Shimataji photo was just on the door to the to the entrance to the Faculty of Architecture. And um, and there was May and there were, it was like a, a exam session. So I was very tense about exams, but I was always getting peace looking at Shimataji photo on the doors. After some time, I start like spontaneously rising energy in front of her and I felt like so cool. And my brain was so like, like, you know, not empty, but it was like so clean from uh, all those problems around and I could I could manage to pass my exams pretty well. It was surprisingly. And I was thanking Kushimaraji for that because her smile and her energy was felt. I really felt it. I felt that it's she is uh, she's not from the earth, from this earth. She's a really divine person. And um, and I just like uh, sometimes I could bow to her. I said, okay, let's pray for, for good exams and then go inside the, the building. Okay, lovely. So you <laughs> were at that point a student of architecture. Yes. Uh, in, in Warsaw. It was, I think, that year of architecture, yeah. Okay, and this is May 1988. What was yes. your, this 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 whole um amazing experience you have is just from the photo of Srimataji. What was it when you saw her first, when you met her? Oh, I met her um, after some time because I used to travel a lot. I used to um, go to Italy, to many places all over the world, do, doing my art. I was more into art than architecture. Actually, I was both art and architecture. So okay. um, I think um, I met her in 1990. Uh, maybe 89 or 1990 for the first time and nice. when i came to her i bowed to her and and i just put hands against her and i really look at her eyes and i really felt same it's like she's a divine person and it's a so amazing feeling i was like completely lost and then she she called me and she said come come she grabbed my hands and she said she closed her eyes i said she said oh you are an artist i said yes and then she said you are also an architect i said yes and I was really having proof that she knows everything, and 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 then she said very interesting story. She was like not a story, like sentence. You will stay with me, and stay with me, and you will work for me. Oh. And and I was just like could not believe. I was just okay. I was just bowing. She said so, but I was just not thinking it's it's gonna happen. But from far I could see she she was um, giving me hand, and she said yes, yes. You will stay with me. You will stay with me. And then I just bow and I left. And it's never could imagine that I will be really near her again. What a blessing. Some time. Where where was this incident? Where where was this? Oh, meeting? it was it was uh, in Warsaw. Shimata used to come on twelfth August almost every year, and um, it was my best day also. And it was amazing that um, it was. I felt it's a gift of God to have um, Shimataji blessing on my best day. And it was, um, again, August 12th, uh, I believe 1990 or 91, 1989. I don't remember now because it was many years past. But I remember very well this uh, this conversation with her. Wow. What, what, I mean, what a good In fortune Poland. to to have Shimataji telling you that you will be with her and you'll work, with, work for her. Um, Tell us what your first project with Shrimataji was, or how did you sort of work for Shrimataji? What does what did it mean? So let's start from the beginning because um, next year I think it was ninety two. So it was ninety one. Okay, ninety two. Uh, I came for Adishakti Puja to Cabela. The, the the at that time the tent, there was a tent near the river down below. 
and um, and um, I just came for puja, okay? Yeah. And uh, some yogi said, just come and stay for puja, and we go back to Poland. So I said, okay, let's let's go for puja. So after puja, bus was ready to go. My my luggage was in the bus. Then suddenly, someone from the castel, maybe it was an architect or, or who, I don't remember exactly, but he started shouting on the on the entrance to to hangar to the tent. Uh, Shimataji want to see um, architect from Poland, architect from Poland, architect from Poland, and everybody were looking who who is this architect? I think maybe me, I don't know, but anyway he said yeah it's you, and I went up and uh, we, we came to the uh, to the castel and there was first first meeting with Shimataji, and it was amazing, uh, very intensive experience. Yeah. Um, I entered to the kitchen and and I saw for the first time Indian ladies cooking for shimatachi and the sm smell of delicious food. Yeah. And then I went into the uh, dining area where there was a fragrance of flowers. It was like unearthly feeling. It was absolutely never um, uh, experienced this kind of uh, divine atmosphere. Then again, they 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 asked me to enter into big room in the in, just behind me. And I saw the frescoes, and I saw the art, and I saw the lot of flowers, and and still I could not see Shimadaji, but anyway, I felt already I'm in the heaven. Is that the photograph? Yes, it is just that time. Yeah, I was a young student and young, lost, a little bit lost <laughs> person. Okay. okay. Yes. Very. So nice. that was exactly that time. Yes, it was at that time. <laughs> and when I reached this final Shimataji bedroom, I saw her sitting and smiling. Yes. Yes. And she said, come, come to me. And then she starts keeping my hands and starts working on me. And wow. uh, for some time, she and she starts speaking to me about Poland, how Poland suffered during the war. Mm -hmm. She talked a lot about the resurrection of Poland after the war. Then she focused on me on my left side how much i suffered in previous lives and how much is when we went through in previous lives and um, and she said now you don't need to suffer anymore you are in kingdom of the god you wow. will be here you will stay with me here and i could not believe i was still young uh, student and 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 i was thinking where is my luggage it's in the bus and i was supposed to go back to poland so when after some time, Shimataji still was keeping my hand, and then leaders came from all over the world, and she started talking to them. Yeah. So I thought maybe I'm no need, I'm not needed in that place. So I start slowly moving my hand from Shimataji's hand, but she suddenly she clutched and she grabbed again. I said, "Okay, I have to surrender." Oh wow! <laughs> and then I went down to the to the to the to the hangar to the tent, and there was no more bus. My luggage was on the on the street. And that's how journey begins. Amazing. Now that in that photo is the backdrop of the castle, uh, and and where you are is actually the castle as it is now. Um so would yeah, you like this... to talk about about how the how your experiences with Trimatogene transforming this this dilapidated building into what it is now? Yeah, it was tremendous work of Shimataji, Golden Builders, and all those who were involved in that um, project. It was uh, it was great resurrection, uh, resurrection from ruins into into uh, into most beautiful place and most vibrated place on the earth. Yes, it. Uh, so she she was there all the time, and um, and. Uh, she was uh, <clears throat> coordinating with architects, not yet with me. She asked me to do art and do some help, okay. but, but at the time, but there were other builders, architects who were coordinating mm -hmm. with Shimataji, everything. And, uh, and uh, myself, I was mostly doing art and, and some decoration. Later on, I started doing carving wood in Shimataji cast, uh, castle, uh -huh. so my job was more artistic, decorative uh, okay. part, so decoration of the staircase, carving wood on the staircase with Ukrainian yogis, so that was um, more artistic uh, approach at that time. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to share this photo that you've emailed us before. 
Would you like? Oh to yeah, we are sleeping on the floor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where um, is this then? It was amazing. We were with Polish, uh, Ukrainian, um, uh, the French yogi is also there, mm -hmm. and um, and all all nations who had willing to help and, and work uh, for Shimataji there and, and get her blessing and cleansing. Yeah, it was, okay. and it, it's just, we are young, so there was not big deal to, to sleep on the floor. <laughs> yes, no, it's, it's quite, quite, quite nice and quite relaxing actually to be in contact with Mother Earth. I don't know if it's on the first floor or the ground floor. Uh, but it's on the on the ground. It's it's when you enter. Now it's, uh, there is behind the doors. There is a library in front. There is mm -hmm. a meditation room. So it's a main hall. Entrance oh. from the bottom, from the from below. Wow. And here is Shrimatji again. It seems she's going somewhere. Oh yes, she used to every time whenever she was going for tours to America, to Eastern Europe, Western Europe. Um, South America, she used to go to that bridge and we are allowed to get the darshan of Shimatachi, oh. offer her flowers and sometimes get to direct um, uh, conversation with her in, 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 in certain times and certain cases. And do you, do you have any memories from those times? Any interesting uh, conversations or chats you'd like to share with us? Yes, she used to always ask how you do you feel better? You feel better? How is your your uh, you know um, health? And she was always concerned about um, uh, especially health and vibration, you know, vibrations and, and yeah. state of chakras. Yeah, she was always giving some attention, especially when we were giving flowers. Yes, amazing. That's such a such love and compassion of Shrimati is beyond words. Absolutely, absolutely. And in this photo here, there's lots of golden builders, yogis. Yes, there are golden builders, yes. And the, the tall guy to the right, it's me, and the, the rest of the guys are there with us. I can uh, recognize Fergie there. Who are the others, please? Uh, one boy from Argentina, one boy from Germany, another boy from Germany, and one boy from Poland. And, Very nice. um, yeah, so they are all all, all around. And which year the... is this then? Which year is this? 92. It was 1992. 92. And here again? Oh, we have uh, yogis from Czech and Poland and Belarusia, uh, Ukraine, United Kingdom, and again, Poland. Me, <laughs> that's the person, Amazing. and behind the divine power of Adi Shakti. Oh is, yes, is without is that, nothing. Always with us. us. Yes, what what a blessing from Shrimataji, really. Um, what would you like to talk about this, please? There's Shrimataji's sketch, and there's your drawings. Would you oh, like? That's to interesting story. That uh, after. One of the next projects, it has been, uh, it was, we, we jumped from 1992 to 1997. Already? Till 19, yeah. Till 1997, I was in Cabela and in India um, for the winter time and okay. for the summer time in Cabela. So uh, that's interesting story. So this is one of the projects where Shimatachi decided to build house in Gurgaon in India. And she drew floor plan, which is the first sketch. I'm sorry, it's blurred. It's it. I, I don't want to come into details at this point and why it is, but sometimes for social for social media, I didn't want to put too much um, yes. too clear uh, drawings. But anyway, you can see octagonal uh, yes. shape of the these uh, ones here. Yes, staircase and the uh, um, rooms and kitchen yeah. drawings room and then she used to type for whom for her family members for uh -huh. everyone for the guests everybody got associate room and the library small library small uh, drawing room then and, and, and pantry it's very beautiful design and then she asked me um Prem kumar please you can you make uh, elevation for this house so she said and just I'm giving to you full design of the elevation for the house. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So I went to my room and I said, oh my God, what I have to do? I know Shimataji likes in classical Indian architecture. And we were talking many times before about the certain elements, architectural elements. So I gathered all the information from previous conversation with Shimataji. And then I put myself into meditation and I, I said I don't do this drawing it is you who, who is guiding me mm -hmm. and I draw the drawing which is written, written Prem Kumar drawings and I offer it to her after a few days and um, in the went I went to her room she looked at this drawing of the elevation and also of the 3D view and she said yes that's what I want to and and it was amazing. She was so happy. She she grabbed my hands and she said, "Yes, exactly what is what I want, and this is this is gonna happen." And again, I was always very shy. I didn't. I I said, "Okay, <laughs> um, this is you, not me. <laughs> it wow. is you, Shimataji. It's not me. It's you are the God. You are the Creator. I'm just your only only your instrument." And later on, the architects they did blueprints. And if you can scroll down, um, um, the architects, builders, and the team, they yeah. build that house. And then finally, there is on the right um, corner to the uh, on the bottom, oh, uh, you can see the final final. Uh, yes, building. this is what it looks like. Yeah. Only they change uh, from right. Shimataji wanted the staircase uh, of diagonal shape on the right side, but then because of zone and cuts in India, they put on the left side. Otherwise, this it's identical, almost identical to the to the drawing um, uh, mm -hmm. which I had chance to draw. But I knew it's not me; it is she's doing it. Yes, and when you were um, sketching and and drawing these. Um elevations what were the conversations that Shamataji had had previously with you that that came to your attention which you kept in mind about the shapes the uh, structures the materials yes and um, previously we did like a few projects for Shimataji. we were working on com a completion of interiors of Noida house and we uh, I had chance also to stay in Pratishtan. Do Pratishtan was built, but Shimadaji wanted to have additional buildings around Pratishtan. So she was sharing a lot of interesting inf information about the building materials as well of the of the shapes. She loved the arches. She loved the architectural elements of very classical Indian uh, architecture. Don't not a, not a really a temple style, but of mostly like I could say, she it was a fusion of styles of let's say Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Northern India, Taj Mahal, all all together. So it's not like in one style; it's just all together, all in one. Yes, that's 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 very much the case. Okay, I'll stop sharing this. Thank you for the story of. Uh... Pratishtan and the sketches that Shimatsuji herself drew and based on that you drew the elevations. It was based on mostly on conversation with her. She drew many sketches. She 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 and during the conversation she sometimes she was visualizing, making like quick sketches, giving me to to follow the sketches and evaluate them into proper uh, artistic uh, impressions. So the yogis, the golden builders and other yogis who have worked on Shamataji's um, projects, houses and other, yeah, mainly those, um, they they kept saying how 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 Shamataji used to change things very quickly. It used to evolve very quickly. How did you find that? Um, actually, I didn't have that, that much um, experience. Usually... Uh... In my case, because I was also an artist, she, whatever she was explaining, I, I could catch it quick. It is not me. It's just what was she. So whatever I drew, she she really liked it. And I I know there were many changes, but that, that she wanted always, uh, you know, uh, she had intention to involve yogis into into process. She wanted to, she, in between, she was working on them. She was working on us, all of us. We came from very difficult backgrounds, you know, and all of us, we had certain conditions from our countries, certain addictions, all kinds of things. So she sometimes it was only for 
um, yes, you want to make it better, be more beautiful, more interesting. Um, yes, it's true. It's happened many times. Like for example, we did the garden project behind the, the which has not been yet, done yet. Uh -huh. so we she changed many times uh, her ideas and but finally i think we 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 came into conclusion so it's 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 a it's a pro it's a de designing process for me it's a it's a normal thing as a, i work full time as a designer so it's like always process of designing uh, yes. overnight you sleep with the idea and then next day you change it and then next yes. day next time again too. it's for me it's absolutely normal Fantastic. And um, I can see behind you the balcony, Shrimataji's balcony uh, of the castle. Are there any stories that you'd like to share from then? Um, from balcony, there's interesting story, but it's like a little bit dramatic story. Okay. I was just talking to one golden builder in the castle. He said, you remember from Kumar in 97, you was working on the balcony and you got um, the ladder and you're supposed to paint on Shimataji frame and, and repair something on the windows and the shutters. Mm -hmm. And um, you didn't know that this ladder is, is not, uh, when you unfold it, it's not properly uh, settled and it may fall again. So I was, was not aware of it. Some God and believers were aware of it, but in between they were using better um, equipment somewhere else. So they gave me that ladder. So when I put the ladder against the Shimataji window, just behind me, I'm showing that just on the on the balcony. And I put that um, ladder, I climbed it, I started painting and, and collecting the frames around the, the window. And suddenly that ladder, you know, and stretched again back into previous oh. shape. And all the, uh, and the window broke. And, and actually, in the same time, Shimatachi was there in the in the in the in the room, and she was, as usual, like now in afternoon, she was putting her agni against the sun. She was taking rest. She was just after American tour. What she was very tired. She was very very exhausted after American tour, mm -hmm. and she was working back agni. And then I saw Shimatachi. I bow in to her, and she went to her bedroom. And that moment when she went to the, her bedroom, the ladder collapsed and I broke, and, and the, the ladder broke the window. Oh God. So, but she was saved. She was already in her bedroom. Yes. So it was pretty dramatic uh, um, yeah. experience. But then very quick, we clean all the glass, we fix new glass. And when Shimataji came again into room, it was, it was all, all fixed. Wow. Which year it's is this? 97. Uh, 97. Yeah. Oh, I wow. think before Ganesh Puja. Mm. Is that the time when you carved, did some wood carvings? Is that the time? Uh, no, it was after a few years because carving wood was 92, 93. We were working on Dahlia project. 94, there were projects in India. 95, the project, um, project mostly projects in India. Yeah. And then Shimataji also talked about project in US. So simultaneously she was focusing on India projects, on local projects here on the garden, New Hanga, Dalio. And uh, and then in between she said, Yeah, I just bought land in, in US. And since I was also a US green card holder, she said you you will work there. So she was it was absolutely amazing experience when how she, divine was focusing all you know from that headquarters focusing on the entire world it was amazing Thanks experience you. to face it and 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 see shimataji working on all the entire world amazing that is that's incredible that's absolutely incredible now I'm going to share this photo here please share your memories about this oh yes yeah. so that was in noida house we um, we did few uh, those are artistic impressions of her houses. So first to the left, it's uh, it's a Noida house. Um, Shimataji was working there. We we when I arrived, we were working on uh, interiors there, and um, the architect was uh, and builders, uh, Indian builders and Indian yeah. architects were working on it. Uh, 
And Sri Mataji said, to, you can stay there and work with them. So there's a tremendous experience to work on the field with Indian architects and, and builders. And Sishi Mataji, for example, she she designed the floors. She mm -hmm. she chose the colors of the walls and stone on the walls, certain elements. There are many many things done in that house. And then finally, when she she the house was ready, she did very small havan inside house. Also, there was a tremendous experience how Sishi Mataji was doing havan in the room and 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 and, and being witness of it so it was amazing experience the other house is done also previously um, it's in Kutup in Clef in Delhi and down below there is a Pratish town so those are just illustration one once I was working and staying in those houses guest house uh, guest rooms um, and working for Shimataji I I, I spend my time um, spare time for painting so um so simultaneously I was working for her in different ways, like yes. even painting windows, making carving wood, doing architecture, all kinds of works. And yeah. in spare time, always painting, always painting. So where and is the, this house that is next to Shimataji? But which 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 one is this one? This here? It's Pratishtan. It's a from oh, from it's Yeah, and and uh, mm. uh, Shimataji wanted extension of that, but it was didn't work out. So there, there were many projects which we did, but they never built so far. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and it, where do you think, sorry, say? Excuse me? Um, What is Shimataji pointing at there in that photograph? Oh, it's another story she wanted. Um, there's a like big dome on the top of the, the building in Noida House, which is uh -huh. actually first or to the left. So you can see on the top, there is a kind of dome. And yeah. there was like kind of opening inside the house. According to Indian regulation, there has, it has to be some opening between the floors. And she wanted, she point out on, on that space that she wanted uh, to put all chakras, like kind of mural and carvings and beautiful mm -hmm. uh, artistic decoration in between all those floors up to the to the sky and starting from Sri Ganesha, Sarasvati, Lakshmi, in, you know, Durga, Krishna and all this. So through all house you want that all chakras. And she was pointing out if you can design and and and, and you can do this. So I drew some drawing. If we don't have this in our um, PowerPoint presentation, but I can show you next time. And okay. then the architects and builders, they fix it. And oh. you can see behind Shimataji, there are statues yes. of all deities. So yeah. she wanted like, she, but she always asked um, to put statue of deities as a decoration in her houses. So always she was decorating houses with Sri Ganesha statue with uh, deities, very beautiful carvings from South India, beautiful carvings from all over the very special places near Madras. And um, and uh, and she knew from where all those materials and all carvings will come from from all over the India, but yes. what she pointed out that it should be as a decoration. She said she said don't worship on altar. I am I am everything. She said she's she's Adi Shakti. She's everything. She's Ganesha. She's all. So that's why do you have to put statue on 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 her altar? So that's what she was saying at the time. Wow. <laughs> yes, beautiful, so beautiful. beautiful. Um, were there any kind of wood or 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 marble or stone that 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 you think were used in all of or most of these buildings? Oh, very, it's very interesting question. Very nice question because even in the US, she used that same stone. So she liked very much marble, white marble and pink marble sometimes combination me pink and white marble and she covered most of these houses by on by stones or some kind of ceramic but everything was kind of part of earth element and mm. and, and 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 it had really vibration sometimes she was like asking you see vibration of that of that piece of, of marble of that piece of uh, terracotta of that piece of um, clay uh, really? elements and to see vibration. Some of them they were from Yamuna River, from Ganga River, 
And it was very important for her from where all this um, building material materials were coming from. And that's why she used that um, cool vibration. But I will tell you one very interesting story. She said once that all these materials uh, done from Mother Earth and from very special places like Maharashtra, Rajasthan, um, uh, Yamuna, Ganga, and all these places, she said that this this special materials made out of Mother Earth they're giving her also cooling bandan to her. That and also in addition, golden builders and and those special materials were giving bandan to her. So I said, wow, it's amazing. The divine is also she needs us as we need her. It's amazing. We have it felt like we are one body, you know, protecting each other. And and it's amazing um, statement from Adi Shakti. It's, wow. She said it's bandan for me. Even you can see behind the her um the stone she wanted it, to cover all walls with special um shiny copper stone it's a it's kind of um slabs and nicely okay. cut it and uh, some of them were gray some of them they were copper copper uh, copper um color in some mm -hmm. rooms copper color in some co in some rooms were uh, were the gray color like silverish mm -hmm. gray gray wow how and what was it like then in Cabela? Because obviously it was too far to transport so many materials from there. Uh, to Cabela, we we had local materials because Cabela was a different different construction. This was just remodeling, yeah. so the 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 castle was um, based mostly on Italian, also nice vibration. Uh, yes elements but mostly we were working on uh, in india on very special vibrated she she really loved india she was very much concerned about india and 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 she said to me you know prem I, uh, india is the best place and and i want you to stay settle in india so she was so much pleasing and she was so so sweet she invited me to her uh how old houses and and west room and giving so much uh, love and and her motherly love divine attention it, it was beyond the imagination beyond even words any 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 particular incident that you have uh that you could share um in these visits and you know in india and in shamataji's various places in pratishtan and gurgaon in Noida. Oh, there were many, but when I look at the picture and I see behind me those big windows behind me, I'll tell yes. the story. To where is yes, behind me, there is a bedroom of Shimatachi. Yes. So mostly we had conversation about the architecture in her bedroom. She usually in morning she was taking tea. Sometimes Candy, she said, Do you want to take tea? I said, No, thank you, Shimataji. I've taken already. And and, um, and she was very extremely gentle and kind and and we were working on some project in, I think, in Haryana or, or something was, or Gurgaon or, or whatever. I don't remember now yet, but suddenly Shimataji becomes silent and she looked through the window and, um, and she looked at the sky and, the, and there was a sunset and the, the mountains. And I look at Shimataji, how happy she was looking through the window. And then she looked at me and she said, Prem Kumar, do you see how big windows are in my bedroom, in this house? And in medieval time, in ancient time, there was never uh, in construction an idea to have a such big windows. That's right, yeah. And I said, Shimatachi, it was built for you. That's why they, they are yeah. big windows. Amazing. <laughs> and she said, yes, Prem Kumar, it was built for me. Amazing. Wow. Yes, it is. It was already long time back built for Shimatachi. It reminds one of how uh, the scriptures had had predicted about Shimataji and and Sahaja Yogis and times with Shimataji. Also in England, William Blake and his paintings and 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 so yes, it's it's great to hear there was this castle as well, which was. Uh, amazing um you know that i mean it was before time but they knew what who it was for who that special um person or supreme being 
who would live there, Shrimataji herself. Um, any other story you'd like to share from Cabela as such? Oh, wow. There are many stories. <laughs> yes. Uh, just you have to guide me what I have to tell. It, it's it's kind okay, of... Let's, let me, let's share the photos of some... Oh, yeah. Maybe it will, it will help. Fine woodwork. Yeah. Let's have a look here. I can I can tell one story from India. Oh yeah, that's that's the process of carving wood. That's the oh. uh, we're working with Ukrainian yogis, Misha, Amar, and others. And they asked me to since I was more into art. They they were very making very beautiful geometrical things. Oh, this is a nice story. That's that's okay. a painting is a nice story. Okay. Okay. So. so <laughs> this is really nice story. That's good that Go you're telling me this. So it's a painting from Nargol. And in 1995, um, there was a, a puja in Nargol. So I went there. There was no Shimataji, but I really had a desire to go to Nargol. And I, and there was a first puja 1995 in Nargol. And I painted this. And, and it was uh, just a wonderful experience to stay in India uh, till Sahasara Puja uh, and then I went to back to Cabela in 19 uh, in for Guru Puja in 95 and um, when I arrive I see there is a big art exhibition and hangar uh, just to show Shimataji art and, and before hangar there were many beautiful paintings but I arrive late so I said where can I hang my paintings I have paintings from India they said, Prem, we don't have any space for you. Oh, there is one space. Just, there is a like bathroom and the and the path where Shimataji usually not passing. And they said, okay, you hang it near Shimataji bathroom. And there's like gray corner. So you can hang your paintings there. So I hung it. Anyway, I was happy that I could, you know, offer something to Shimataji. So when Shimataji arrived for Guru Puja, Usually she takes like uh, very decorated with flowers, mm -hmm. but she somehow she turned to the side and she went to that um, path where my paintings were there. Mm -hmm. She looked at them and she said, um, I want to see Prem Kumar after, after Pooja. And um, I, I don't know why she, she knew that it's my painting, but she, she said, yes, she want to see. Wow. So um, it was wonderful puja and 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 it was like full of bliss, you know. Especially after India, India at that time was a wonderful place, and and still now, of course. But uh, for a young person, it was like amazing experience to stay in India, like for twenty years old boy. And then after puja, um, I brought all my paintings, and I put in front of her. She looked at them and and. Uh, she corrects some of them. She said, you have to improve your style. But then she noticed this painting, this particular painting. And she said, where did you paint it? I said, I, I painted in Nargo Shimataji. And she looked at me. I felt it from vibration. You know, I opened Sagasara there. And she said it very humble, very softly. I look yeah. at her. Oh, my God. She's so divine. She's so beyond beyond imagination. It's, 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 it, I said yes from Shimataji, you know, but I could not say anything. I said, I just bow to her. And that story of this, about this painting. And, and many times she was saying, this, this actually is a good painting, she said, you know, and, and vibration were that good. So she, she was happy about this painting. Though I many think... other paintings she was criticizing yeah. were pretty, mm. pretty good critics. Yes. Are these boats here that, that we see? Um, yeah, those are boats and uh, some yogis uh, meditating yeah. And, yeah. in the trees where Shimataji opens Sagasara. Very, yeah. what type of trees are they? I mean, they're really nice, the colors and lights. I mean, what can you say when Shimataji is? It's like a very that? different uh, from, from the Ganapati Pula. It's a completely it is, different isn't it? Soul, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so. It's okay. very clean and 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 it, those trees are very unusual. Okay, I think I've moved to this painting of yours of Sri Ganesha at the in Cabela. Oh, now we come back to 92. 92. Okay, oh, this is 1992. Yes. 
Sorry, remind us when you painted the previous painting uh, of Nargol. Which year was that? 1995. 1995. And now this painting that we're seeing now was painted in 1992. Yes, it was 1992. Yes. Uh, we were working um, on carvings. And after carvings, we were working on painting windows, many things. Mm -hmm. But in between, we had always siesta time. So on siesta, I used to go to the river and 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 create some art so i was thinking to offer shimataji that ganesha so i felt like a lot of vibration around in 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 all all over the area it was amazing and um, very inspiring for creativity mm. so i i had like vision that i would paint Sri ganesha Sri ganesha pucha shimataji feet and behind the castle where she resides and then three channels and Sahasara both and and then I just uh, put that vision into into paper uh, I paint in watercolors using water directly from river and then before leaving to Poland to finish my education I, I offered it to Shimataji mm -hmm. and uh, and um, and I left it to her into as a present. She looked at this and she was very happy. But the uh, story it's not ending now because when I came next year for Sakasa Puja 1993, mm. uh, one of assistants of Shimataji he came to me, Prem Kumar. You know, I have to tell you something. I said, What? What's happened? He said, I don't know what you are, but Shimataji asked this painting to put in front of her chair on another chair and she used to look at this painting for a long time you know and she kept for many days and sometimes she used to watch tv sometimes she was doing other errands but no she was watching your paintings i said oh that's a really a blessing that's that's to that's to be under such a uh, such attention of god it, I was like I could not I, I just could not even understand this I could not perceive it yes I, I, I could I not comprehend I could not comprehend why and yeah. why they were saying Panshi Mataji is working on Poland she was broken so she was having out of compassion help to artists people everyone has different opinion about me I I respect their opinion but I think the God's opinion is mo most important so what is the, that's true. What is the medium that you use? Is it watercolor? Yeah, it's watercolor, but it's when... It's very, very rich watercolor. I mean, how did you get the color so bright? It's it's very nice. <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, of course, with Shumataji's blessings, of course, isn't it? It's beautiful. Very, very. Oh, it was little, little bit. Um, um, usually in in universities or, or architectural uh, um, institutes, they teach us watercolor, and they ask you teach us to put like at least maximum three layers, thin mm. layers. You put like thin, uh, but I felt like I should put more um, color into it, more mm. intensive um, pigment into it. Yes. And later on, Shimata used to comment on my painting. She said, you know, add black color even. And I said, why? They they were teaching us in the in school that we cannot use black color in watercolor because um it's 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 not a it's not a you know like the way how we paint in watercolors. But she was breaking all rules. She said add more pigment, add black to colors, add uh, more intensive. So that's why uh, my watercolors are not real watercolors. It's just kind of, um, I don't know what it is. It's it's kind of, yes, it's a watercolor, but it, it's a, it's it's breaking all rules and regulation. Definitely. So, so please elaborate on this. Shrimatsuji told you to mix black in, in other colors. So give us an example. Which color would you use it for and what would it do? It was my first painting. I was just um, working with intuition only, and I, I she didn't write me yet at that time. It mm -hmm. was an extremely busy time. There were many golden builders. Yes, she put more attention on 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 that starving artist later on when castle was empty in ninety ninety four ninety five. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Uh, 
there was only Shimatachi and two or three people in the castle, you know. So that time sometimes she used to call and, and talk a lot of about art, a lot of about art and um, about colors and, and about the composition. Um, and the most, most important thing she was uh, with her art appreciation was the vibration of the art, you know. So she was talking a lot of about artists and and the vibrations. So it was very interesting uh, knowledge to get from Shimataji about art from directly from divine. So divine knowledge about art. Share with us some of those, please, if you if you can. Oh, for example, she yeah. was buying a lot of art in uh, in many countries, and. Um, uh, you went with Shimataji sometimes to some shopping in Moscow or somewhere, and she was so much appreciating East European artists. Mm -hmm. And she used to say, you see vibration, they are so cool. They are not even Sahaja Yogis, and their art is so cool because wow. they are they are born realized souls. Many people in Eastern Europe, they are born realized souls. She said it many times, especially artists. Most of the artists are born realized souls, she said. It's masses are born realized. Masses. Oh, wow. Great. So I think the next photo is back on the finished. Yeah, I sent you like randomly yesterday. So yeah. it's like <laughs> without even. <laughs> yeah, so that's the finished product of um, Lakshmi and Vishnu. So, so we can see some case. details. Yeah. Beautiful. It was and 92. 92, wow. Beautiful. So we have a job of um, Ukrainian yogis, the geometrical, floral patterns. These ones here. Yes. And there are more. Um, we and can there. share maybe next time more of it. It's like There are yeah. many beautiful photographs to share. Yes, definitely. And this is how the castle looks like now. And this is a more recent painting of yours? No, it's 1997. It is my last painting of castle. And that's another story. Behind all those paintings, there's some story. Okay, so, what story here? Very, very interesting story. So when, when um, during the siesta, it was, I think, end of most almost end of construction of remodeling of the facade and and painting in white it's actually not a paint it's a marble uh, in powder applied on the on the elevation of the castle so it was almost end the scaffolds were partially removed so i went down it was a beautiful uh, view so i went down during the siesta to paint it so i paint as usual near the river Mm -hmm. And uh, when I uh, when I was painting, I, I extend my time maybe till five p.m. or six p.m. Mm -hmm. It was almost sunset, and then what's happened? I I had my zoom camera, and I zoom on on Castel, and I see Shimataji sitting on the top floor, and I felt I have to go fast. I I have a gut feeling that I have to really run. So I ran up to upstairs and then on scaffolds, the golden builders are calling and say, Prem Kumar, Shimataji is looking for you. You have to you have to go up to, to that room. Yes, in fact, Shimataji was in that room when I could see from my Zoom camera. And and she said, Prem Kumar, wh where have you been? I'm looking for you. And she was a little, little bit like, I cannot tell that mother was annoyed, but she was a concern. Mm -hmm. And I said, Shimataji was painting your 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 house. She said, Prem Kumar, please, I have better plans for you than paint, painting my house. Please don't do that. You know, we have so many important projects in India. We have so many things. And if you want to paint, start painting abstract, start painting things. Don't only do small things like, you know, painting my house. Just do do yeah. something more, more sophisticated. So that was my last ever painting of, in 1997. Of oh, Castle wow. because Shimataji told me, you know, just paint yes. abstract, give it to art, do architecture, do interior design. And she said, I want more than, than you can even imagine for you. I want more, you know, it's just uh, wow. the paint. It's not it's not your future to paint my house, that's for sure. <laughs> wow, that's how she kind of 
well, she guided you to 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 achieve your potential, basically, which is what uh which is what Shimaji always does for her children. Um tell us, was there any time when Shimaji was upset with you? Oh yes, many times. Yeah. And I'm very I'm very proud not proud, but I'm very glad that she has given yeah. me so many papaches because without that I would not grow. And and, and only loving mother can, can really shout one day and another day give you present and another day yeah. give you job and another day give you her yeah. love and attention. So at that time it was pretty intensive and I, I really felt completely you know, devastated inside myself and I felt so useless. But after two, three days she used to call and give me something like small presents, some small watch or small small briefcase or something, you know, just to mm. be like the, she was grooming and, and protecting me and all of us, not not it's not it's not about personal. It was most of us we experienced here this this kind yes. of yes. Shimataji love in the castle yes yeah, also in india yes we heard from yogis how shimataji i mean the amount of love care affection compassion she showered her children with in 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 her physical form in the early days is absolutely amazing yes and you know like you was thinking it's end of the world and it's you know i felt so useless i did such silly mistakes and i have uh, and I shouldn't do that, and and I felt so really bad, so guilty. But then she didn't want to, she didn't want also us to be guilty, you know. She yeah. wanted us to progress, you know. So yeah. she knew how to, you know, care about her children. It's many yogis they have similar experience. Absolutely, yes. I mean, some yogis have shared how, you know, when Shamataji told them off, she really shouted out so loud. But it was it felt so good because. The negativities ran away. <laughs> Tell us uh, from your experience with this close um, proximity to Shrimataji, what are the things that please her and what are the things that one should avoid in your experience? So she, wa she wanted us to give up all our conditions, our addictions, our previous uh, lives, styles, our country conditions uh, our mentality our, our overthinking our uh, you know uh, likes or not likes our she want she just wanted to remove it fully she wanted us to be excellent she sometimes i used to go down to the village to go to bar and somewhere coming back and and then they told me she might want to see you and and then she asked me where you been i'm working so on you so hard you know Mm. And we're being, you know, and sometimes Ukrainian Polish used to, used to go for shopping to Genova or Milano, come back, and she was so concerned. She was shouting, "Why, why you, why did you go to the places?" And you know, I'm working on you so hard, and and in, to remove from you from your country all this all these problems, you know. And then you just go for shopping to buy Walkman or some kind of uh, gadget, mm. electronics. Uh, so she didn't like that. And uh, she was very much concerned about our condition. She she didn't want it. So that most I I I from my experience, whatever I was going down back to my old previous conditions, uh, addictions, or anything, she could see in a second. In a second, she could see. Oh, Prem Kumar, why why you could see vibration? Why you didn't check vibration? Why did you see vibration? Be always on vibratory awareness, always. Why did such mistakes? She was so much concerned. She could shout, then she was like cooling down. You know, it's okay, it's fine. And 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 the moment when she was shouting, yes, it was full full bliss. From one side, your heart was like crying inside, but on the other hand, Sarasara was completely open. <laughs> it was like bliss and and also bliss and sorrow in the same time. Wow! And I shared with one golden builder from Poland. He said. I say to him, you know, I feel so blessed. Shimataji was shouting so on me so much, and but I feel so happy, and 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 I'm so blessed. And he said, Prem, 
so this is good to, to do something wrong to get Shimataji attention. I said, no, no, this is not the way. <laughs> yes. We had kids, they were really in our early 20s. We had just kids, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shimataji. Sometimes I was too straightforward. And, and I, I'm just, I, I was too young. And my main crime was that I was really young and unmature. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Um, is there any other memory that you want to share about in Cabela or in India as such that comes to your Very team? interesting story in early 90, 93, 94. Shimataji, um, uh, in 92, I told Shimataji I have a green card. So she called to America, to other places. And she said to, to architects and artists, if, she, if we can work together, but they were busy with other projects. So there was not much really opportunity at that time. Then she said, you know, Prem Kumar, I have idea. I'll call to India. And she called to India, to architect in India. And she asked him if I can work with him. And he said, yes, obviously. Yeah. So let him come. So we came with Shimataji, she introduced me to architects, we work on this project was Noida and other many, also residential and other things uh, we we're working on. And after six months, my my visa in India was finished, you know, and I had no ticket back. And also my old ticket on, from December was not valid. So it, the story was very interesting. And I used to go to Air India in Delhi, ask them for... Uh, uh, to help me to go back. They said, absolutely, you can go with invalid ticket back to Italy. So there's no way you will get the ticket. So some yogi told me, you know, just write the, the letter to the to, to main headquarters of Air India with a request and with explanation and, and, and things like this. So I wrote everything. I, I apply and I went through all the bureaucratic system. But still there, I say, no, no, we can't, we can't help you. I said, so, but every day used to come and, and stay sit for many hours in Air India in Delhi. So once one officer he came, he said, "Okay, if I will call to Italy. If Italy will say you are good to go, we'll issue the ticket. But it's only Italians can decide. We we can decide." So you're so in India to talking to Italy in Indian Air India headquarters in New Connaught Place. In oh, Delhi. okay, yes, yes. It's a big building, the big tallest. Yes. Like very, very, you know, like specific building in Connaught Place. Yes. So, um, and he he called to to Italy, and someone in Italy answered. He didn't want to talk. They said, you know, there is someone who want to go back to Italy, and from Italian side, they said, yeah, okay, let let him go, no problem. It was they didn't want to even talk about it. They said, yes, issue, please issue. That's it, finish. So they told me, yeah, you got the ticket. I said, thank you so much. And they said, no, you don't thank, don't thank anyone. Thank only God. It's God, because we didn't really want to help you. We didn't do anything. It's only God help you. So I got, I was very happy. I went, to, I, I went to airport and I see many yogis out there. And what's happened? Actually, Shimataji was going same flight, same airplane to Milan. Wow. And Shimataji was there. And when I came with my passport, control, Shimataji was in front of me. So there was Yogi Mahajan. He, he looked at me. What are you doing, Prem? Uh, I said, I'm going to Milan. So he he immediately came. And I explained to him I got this for free ticket. And it's a miracle. So he right away, he went to Shimataji. He said, Prem Kumar is going with you. It's a miracle. And then Shimataji came and she said, it's not miracle. It's that's welcome to Sahaja Yoga. It's never a miracle. It's a normal, normal thing in Sahaja Yoga. And then we went there, and the journey keep was was still going on with Shumataji. That is that is so true. Um, it's such a beautiful story you've shared. Uh, sitting in Connaught Place, um, I used to work in Connaught Place. Then now the office has moved, of course. But yeah, lovely part of Delhi, <laughs> and how God actually helped when those human beings weren't uh, being very helpful. And then you had the good fortune to fly back with Shimataji and continue with with the work. Um, yeah, it was help also yogis. Um, one yogi who was a singer and he he 
he also had some tourist office. So he guide me what to write in the in the petition. So there, there was always support of yogis. And again, I'm saying it's not me, it's many yogis experience. It's yes. me, and we were working collectively. So it's not it's not nothing about me in this in this our interview. It's just I'm passing the message of Shimatachi. That is the main thing. And too. that's the main thing, you know. That it's... is the only thing actually that Shimataji has given us and how how she has made miracles uh, a normal no As a normal fit part of life. Good. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's such a blessing to to be her children. And uh, I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of us for joining us for this interview today. And I sharing also want to so thank beautiful, you. Beautiful um, memories. And uh, we'll stop recording now. Thank you so much. And for I just want to thank, I'm sorry to disturb. I want to thank to all those yogis who were working together on, on the house. I want to thank you to all yogis who are working on architectural projects in India, to architects, golden builders. I want to thank you for even hard lessons which they were giving to me to make me this what I am now and what I just want to be. And uh, I and the most 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 thank you to Shimatachi for all that blessing and she has given to us in this most powerful time of her reincarnating in this on this at this time. Jay Shimataji again and Jay again. Shimataji. Thank Jay Shimataji. You.